In August, the Department of Labor uncovered more than $11 million in unemployment insurance fraud, where individuals were earning wages while collecting state-funded benefits. These are individuals who uh, took the opportunity to defraud the system during the pandemic when folks were getting benefits as a real lifeline. Investigators start the process of finding these individuals committing fraud through a quarterly cross-matching process. At the end of every quarter, the Department of Labor gets a list of wages reported to them during that quarter. Investigators then cross-check that list against those receiving unemployment benefits. Kagan Dupish added that not everyone who receives benefits in the same quarter is doing so fraudulently. Most cases require further investigation. The Department of Labor recently started using new fraud detection technology that helps investigators screen for factors such as the time frame a claimant was working, whether or not they were on leave, and the amount. Kagan Dupish said the new technology gives investigators a better idea of which claimant was more likely to be working while collecting unemployment benefits. It's important for us to recognize that uh, even even these smaller amounts, because they are smaller amounts, it's just a lot of them, smaller amounts are still important to, to um, fight and still important to uncover. Moving forward, Cake and Dupiche said the Department of Labor handles repayments through a number of ways, but the most common way, she said, is for the claimant to enter into a payment plan. In the issue of non-payment, they coordinate with law enforcement. In Albany, Elise Klein, WNY News Now.